Trey Yingst is live in the Jerusalem newsroom with more on this. Hi, Trey. Laura, information today is shedding light on the Iranian seizure of a British oil tanker on Friday. Newly released video does show a dramatic scene as Iranian troops armed with machine guns repel from a helicopter to board the British flag Stana Impero. The vessel was carrying no cargo but had a crew of 23 people on board. Radio transmissions between the British and Iranians paint a picture about how the event unfolded. As the Iranian military vessel demands that the British tanker alter its course, a British military ship tries to explain the request is a violation of international law. Please confirm that you are not intending to violate international law by unlawfully attempting to board the MV Senate. If you obey, you will be safe. The British tanker was ultimately taken into Iranian custody, where it remains. Now, over the weekend, British Foreign Minister Jeremy Hunt called on the tanker to be released after saying that the seizure appears to be a tit-for-tat situation after the British detained an Iranian oil tanker earlier this month suspected of trying to deliver oil to Syria. Britain maintains that taking the Iranian ship was legal, as Britain's defense secretary said overnight that Iran taking the British tanker was illegal. It is absolutely clear. I spoke to our co uh, maritime commander out in the region today, early this morning. It is very clear that those, uh, that ship was in Omani waters. This is an illegal and hostile act. The Iranians also stopped a second oil tanker in the Gulf on Friday. It was ultimately released. Both of these actions, though, have led the United States and its allies to beef up military presence in the Gulf in anticipation of the possibility of a larger conflict. Laura? All right, Trey Yangs for us in our Jerusalem newsroom. Thank you so much.